Hey Aquarius, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again here at Just Be Terrell. My name is Michelle. How you doing? I hope you're having a great, great start to the week. It is 5, 5, 5 a.m. So there's some changes that's taking place here, okay? There may have been some changes that took place over the weekend, but we're going to get right into some love energy. Take the message as it resonates, as it applies. Roles could be reversed, but flop transpose. All are welcome here, including the cross watcher. And these are never, ever gender-specific readings. So let's get into it. What's the message for Aquarius? I'm hearing, I'm just about over being your girlfriend. I'm leaving. That's what I'm hearing, but I don't know. You could just be listening to music. You could be, you know, running your playlist. What's going on here? With the money. Uh, oh, so somebody's like, what's going on with the money? Yeah, there's distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally. Excuse me, or emotionally distant. Some of y'all are just straight up tired of this whatever this is okay earth sign taurus virgo capricorn you may be busting your ass working traveling you're exhausted and there's a narcissist here yeah mm -mm. no wonder i'm yarning i just woke up i'm not tired okay There's also an energy here of fluidity. So somebody may be in the same sex relationship or not. Somebody may literally be um, questioning, like, does this person really even enjoy my gender or something like that? I don't know. Let's see. Take these messages as they resonate. Take the part of the message that resonates with you. Leave the rest behind, okay? But there's an energy here that you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant from one another. You could literally be at a distance regarding geographically, okay? So let's get this information right here. So, Two of Pentacles and the Three of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Somebody loves someone in spite of. So it could be a Capricorn, a Cancerian, or a Scorpio. You could have this in your chart. But at the end of the day, I do feel this energy that there's love here, right? But somebody is in their feelings because of past behavior, third-party situations. Somebody may still feel as though someone is juggling and have them in a third-party situation behind their back. I do feel this energy of a love spell. Also, somebody is trying to be with you. Somebody is trying to create distance between this third party somebody's trying to break somebody up okay so let's say i'm in a third party situation i know about the other person i'm trying to break those other people up so the person could just be mine or something like that or vice versa yeah but with the world here i do feel like there's some type of ending coming up okay so let's see what's this earth sign energy about I'm hearing be grounded and listen to your heart. Listen to your heart of hearts. There's the energy here also of tit for tat. Engine, engine, number nine. Going down the traffic line. If that train goes off the track, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Back on the scene. Yeah. Somebody's really trying to be patient and temper themselves, but it's like, I could get with this 
you could get with this or you could get with that. Let's see. Maybe um being asked to temper yourself temper yourself so you don't go off. Yeah, with the Knight of Swords, that is drama. Okay, so there may be some type of communication coming in that you may find out about. seven of swords look at this you're being asked or somebody is being asked to temper themselves today or tomorrow or the energy around you it could be somebody in your auric sphere it looks like there's someone to be some type of um conversation and it's like almost like a pop-off okay somebody hears something they're ready to jump to conclusions or they are analyzing the fuck out of what they hear or what they you know, what they see or what they read. They are analyzing it. And Spirit is saying, temper yourself. Calm down. Um, or this is what someone else needs to do. Because everything is not what it even seems like. Okay? Yeah, somebody's doing something. But it may not be what you think it is. Somebody may literally be giving you information that is false. Somebody may literally be jealous of you. Competing with you. Or copying you, mimicking you in some way. Okay? What I'm getting here is temper your yourself. One step at a time and you'll figure it out. Like be still and you'll figure it out. It'll unfold in front of you. That's what I feel. Because you're smart enough to figure this out. Use your intuition. What is your heart telling you? Not what your mind and ego is telling you. Mm -mm. There's something you need to know here. Okay? Yeah, with the chariot energy, the six of wands, and the ten of pentacles, you could win this. You could outsmart someone else. Somebody is full of themselves, okay? With the um, narc energy, that's what that's talking about. Somebody being full of themselves. Someone who is egotistical, someone who is prideful, all right? They may just want you to jump in and, but that might not be what you're supposed to be. I mean, that may not be what you're supposed to do, okay? Now, somebody could be literally coming to visit you, coming to visit you in your home. There's also an energy of sex, <laughs> So again, um, somebody may have a partner, Ten of Pentacles is a whole home, with a family, okay? A ready-made family is what I see. Um, with the chariot here, somebody may literally be coming to visit you from a distance. They want to see you. They want attention from you. They want to screw you. They want to make love to you. They want to have sex. The thing is, they may be sneaking off. They're telling you something that's not true. They're telling you what you want to hear. Because this is what's happening behind your back. This is what's happening behind your back. They're juggling. Okay? Even if they love you. Not to say they don't love you. But I'm telling you that I see, that's what I see here. Okay? Yeah, see? They have a family. They're married. Now, if you're um, seeing somebody, you want to be careful you don't get pregnant and end up one of the baby mothers or a baby father in this messiness. I see messiness. <laughs> okay, yeah, somebody likes attention. Somebody gets a lot of attention is what I see here. You may be talking to some people, yeah, but you may find this information out. So like I said, there's something kind of communication that's going to come in and it may set you off. Okay. You may end up getting angry or whatever, but it's not nothing for you to get angry with. This is just who this person is. See them for who they are or somebody sees you this way. Okay. There's also an energy of gold digger. Make sure the people are with you for the right reasons. Yeah. See, suddenly you're moving on. It's going to be smooth sailing because you're going to see somebody is full of themselves. There's also an energy that somebody wants to talk to you from a distance because they know they fucked up with you. Period. That's what's going on. 